Hello Mini Makers. Now today we're going to make one of these um, blumange, strawberry blancmange and jelly desserts. And okay, everything you need is going to be in a picture on the um, thumbnail. So first of all I'm going to start by making the pink blancmange paste. So you need some translucent clay, which is well conditioned. And we're going to add to that some pink clay and blend it in. A circle cutter dipped in talcum powder so it doesn't stick. I'm just going to cut out the circle. And then I'm going to pop it into your cameo setting or jewellery dish. And then you will do this is this is one that I used before, which is castellated. This one's just got little loops. Anything's fine. And we're going to put that in there and just press it in until it fills the dish. And flatten the top down. Keep that until it's filling up the dish. Blumange base. Now we're going to make the jelly. For this, we need translucent clay again. And some, what the hell is that? And some red in about that sort of. portion and again we're just going to blend it together And talcum powder so that the clay doesn't stick it. Blow it back out. Take a bit of your jelly coloured clay, push it into the mould, and use a knife to cut away any excess. of clay to put it out. There we are. Remove any any excess uh, powder. That goes in the middle of your blanc Just press it down gently. Okay, now we're going to make some strawberries. We need nine, I think. So we take the red clay and it out. And cut off 
nine little pieces. And roll them into roll them into balls. rough coarse sandpaper and a cup to a stick or toothpick we're just going to pick it up on there roll it gently on there to shape it and texture it Now we're going to put the stalk on the strawberry. So you need a tiny bit of leaf green or a, a suitable green. And we're going to roll that until it is really, really thin on the ends. That piece is broken off, but that's actually perfect. That's what we're looking for. Like that. And we need two pieces like that. and grey okay and then cross them over like that pick it up in the middle take one of your strawberries and we're just going to push that in there like that and repeat for the rest Okay, so right, we're going to place them onto here. So I'm going to take a ball ended tool with a fairly large end and just work out where they're going to go. From there. This one's going to go on the top, so now we need to pop them into the little indentations, make sure they're all going the same way. Copies aren't identical anyway, are they? So. Now for the cream I'm going to use a mould, I said before I like to use a mould, but it's perfectly okay if you just want to roll a piece out and swirl it round. So I'm going to take a little bit of talcum powder, again just so it doesn't, the clay doesn't stick. Oops. Then white clay, pinch off a little bit, roll it, make it into a little point there, shove it in the mould. Press down firmly and use a knife just to carefully remove the excess. There we go. And then we're going to use a little bit of clay. Soften clay and just push it in to put out, put out your cream. Okay, that. 
is then going to sit on, on the top get it as central as you can then we're going to use the ball ender tool again and push the centre down make a little indentation and that is where your final strawberry is going to sit so pop it in there okay make sure you're happy with it looks fine okay that's it basically now we're going to go bake it for 15 minutes Now we're all baked and um, we just need to add some gloss varnish to make it look like a, a wet jelly and a blanc and shiny strawberries. So let's just brush a little bit over, just basically over the whole thing. need to varnish the cream but sometimes it just gets on there then let it dry and you'll have a lovely little strawberry jelly and pink blancmange dessert okay well if you like this subscribe to my channel to be notified of when i put out new videos i'm, I'm planning to put one out every week um give me a thumbs up if you like it and if there's anything else you'd like me to make or any comments you want to do just leave a comment underneath Thank you and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.